judge it against the word of God. Uh -huh. Is that the word of God? Is that the word of God? Romans 8, 7. Amen. The natural ruled mind. Yes. The mind that goes by its five senses. Uh-huh. You'll find it say to you, you got good sense. Why they got to tell you what to do? Go ahead now. Because you got good sense. That's why. Jesus. You know, people that are, look at me, mentally challenged or mentally delayed, you know it's easier for them to love God and believe God. Yes, it is. Amen. And to get saved than it is for an intellectual person. Because they just believe. Amen. 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 Right. Their mind doesn't have all the stuff. So in a way, they're more right. blessed than we are. Amen. Amen. They don't have all the negativity going on. Right. You know, we look down our nose because they might be smiling all the time. Come on. But I've seen when they just praise God with a bit. Come and will prophesy. Don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Because they are free. Amen. Yeah, that's it. If you tell them that chair is green, they'll believe that chair is green. Amen. Amen. Not us. We too intelligent. Amen. The carnal mind. Yes. Look what the word says. The carnal mind is enmity. That word means enemy against God. Uh -huh. Right there ought to shake you. Your mind is against God. Just think about it for a minute. Think about the times you know God was telling you to do one thing and you did another. Amen. 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 And you knew it was wrong. Yeah. Inside of every single solitary human being is the ability to know right from wrong. Amen. Amen. Mine is enmity against God. For it's not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. See, your mind can never be saved. Amen. So it has to be controlled. Thank you, Lord. Amen. It has to be controlled. Now here's another trick of the devil. When you think a negative thought, I thought you were saved. Come on, Jesus. I thought you got delivered on Thursday. Uh -huh. Why'd you just think that? Because that's where he plays. Yeah. Amen. This is a serious point you need to get so that you won't be tricked by the devil. Yeah. This is his playground right here because it is made from the earth. Uh -huh. Remember we went over the point that when Adam sinned, it was a major. Amen. It turned the ownership in the spirit realm of the earth over to the devil. Notice the devil doesn't do anything just to be doing it. That's right. If he's keeping you from praising God, he got a reason. Come on. Amen. He got a reason. Amen. He's setting you up. Amen. If he's got you in, in rebellion, he got a reason. He's got a reason. He's a, the Bible teaches us he's strategic. Yeah. It's like a military general because he copies God. Uh -huh. And he doesn't do things just to be doing. Amen. He'll bring someone in your life. I remember one night, and gosh, this must have been, we've been married 25 years. It's about 20 years ago. Tiny. And Bishop and I had a disagreement. Our man can see us now. We were in a great, grand, great league. Lincoln. God had answered Bishop's dream to give him that Lincoln. And it's the same Lincoln. God spoke to us and said, give it up and go get a school bus for the church. And we did. Amen. Even though know, he had begged God for it. Sent it back. Obeying God pays off after a while. Amen. Now we have a Lincoln. We can drive. Uh, Audi, a uh, Kia. You know, you, you look at what God does and it's amazing. Amen. It's utterly amazing. Without you having to do, see, you, your mind wants you to orchestrate things. Yeah. To set things up. Amen. God wants you to let Him set things up. Amen. Acknowledge me in all your ways and Amen. I'll direct your path. Amen. But see, our mind says, you ain't stupid. Come on. You know what you're doing. Amen. No, we don't. Uh -huh. We think we do. Yeah. Yeah. See, we're under the illusion. Yeah. Thursday night, we're under an illusion right here. Mm -hmm. But because of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. that comes after Christ comes, we now being led into all truth. Amen. Amen. 
Until, until you let the Holy Spirit lead you, you're being led by your mind. Yes. And your mind is full of illusion and lies. Uh -huh. It's like we were just talking about the club. Now you sit back and look at it. Isn't that crazy? Some of y'all did it, but isn't that crazy? Putting on something to make you look like a slut just so you could save fifteen, twenty dollars. Come on, come on. So some man can look at you like you a steak hanging on a hook. That's right. Okay. You can come in. And then a woman that's not looking like a hoe, she's rejected. So now her mind tells her, you gotta be a hoe to be accepted. Yes. Come on, man. That's right. It's why women we laid up with men. Yeah, man. Because we thought that was the only way we would be accepted. We thought we'd keep them that way, and that way they didn't know they, that we loved them. That's not love. That's, right. Amen. That's not love. Amen. And a man, a man, a real godly man will tell you, you lay up with him like that, he don't love you. Amen. He was horny. Uh -huh. Amen. That's it. You teach him real good. Tell him about, tell him Hello, man. Amen. Amen. He just had a need and you filled the need. Mm -hmm. You're like a trash can. Mm -hmm. I need a trash bag, I put a trash bag in a can, I fill a can, I take the trash out and throw it away. Mm -hmm. There's no respect. And see, I hear the women, but I don't hear the men, especially Amen. my leaders, and I don't like it. Amen. Amen. So you became just a trash can. That's why he didn't deal with you no more. That's why he don't respect you. And married people that have laid up before they got married will tell you that they went through a horrible time Amen. of disrespect and couldn't figure out what the heck is going on. Yeah. Because he didn't marry you respecting you. Yeah. When a man can get the milk, he loses respect for the cow. Yeah. Yeah. Young girls think in their mind, I got to dress like Beyonce or whoever was made it clear on international social media, I, me and my husband worship the devil. Uh, but Christians allow their children to just like that. Well, I didn't want them to feel bad. Mm -hmm. You a child, I don't care how you feel. Right, you do what I tell you to do like I tell you to do it. Right. When I tell you to do it. Amen. As long as you're under my roof. That's now, it. once you get your own roof, you do what the heck you want to do. I don't have no right to come in there and do nothing. Amen. Knowing me, though, I do it all my job. I go in there and say, don't you think you could change that? But I don't have no right to go in there and do it. Amen. It's their house. Amen. You know why you're quiet? Because you all do that. Now, you leave them grown children alone. If you raise them right, That's you ain't got no problem. If you didn't raise them right, you got problems. Amen. The carnal mind is a liar. Amen. It's a liar. It's a total, your mind lies to you 24 7. Amen. You ever had a bad dream? Amen. Your mind is still working while you sleep. Amen. I've had times where the Holy Ghost would tell me to get out my head covering and put it on my head that night. I just. See, when you get we want to shame the nothing, man. Be all up on folk, just shake that boot. Go ahead, man. Now you get in Christ, and Bishop got to tell you to pick up your feet. Really? Because your mind is telling you. See, somebody just got free. I Come felt on, it in the spirit. Come somebody's on, mind just went, Ooh. Your mind is telling that ain't cool. You ain't got to do that. It don't take all that. You don't feel like dancing and dead. So don't. I didn't know we live by our feelings. But that's what they do. That's why they lay up like dogs. We came up here the other day. Bishop's got a new girlfriend. She's been missing for about three days now. We couldn't get rid of her. Tell someone who you talking about. They don't know. Oh, the dog. No, he wouldn't be And I would be sad. Yeah, I'll be in jail. Say no now. So let me see the women. Let me straighten that out. 
See, you wouldn't have had somebody else, Deacon Williams, somebody else would be preaching. Not be a doctor. A bishop be an MCB more. So let's make that clear. Thank you. But your mind. Your mind. Your mind. You women, y'all remember the days we said we couldn't live without it? Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, shame the devil. Couldn't live without it. Remember the times you abused your husband because you thought, I'm not your woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at you now. That's right. You can do it out of anybody. That's right. You really can. Amen. Y'all can do it. You really can. Men, you don't think men don't go through that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hello, men. Yeah. Everybody yeah. made a fool. He had a past before he met you. Yeah. And so did you. Yeah. Sometimes ain't no exception to the rule. I ain't lying. They go in a cave somewhere and get drunk. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. 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 I like to be honest. Yeah. I like a, see, I can deal with an honest person. I hate the phone. Yeah. Come on, come on. You have to test the phone. Uh, men will go get drunk and cry. That's mm. right. Two, three days, you know. Yeah. And when they come out, it's like, man, I don't care. Nobody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Straighten his shoulders out like that. Female, she come out the door. I still love me. See, I'm going to tell you, kill yourself because you can't have it. Amen. Hello. Amen. See how the kind of mind work? Yeah. Your mind is destruction. And God, that's why Jesus said, I got to go so I can send him back. Yeah. Uh -huh. To give you power. Yes. Over the powers yes. of the enemy. Yes. Hello? Amen. He had to go so he could send it. Yes. Remember, my church is like the president and the vice president. Do y'all know they can't be in the same place at the same time? No. Because yes. if one get killed, the other one got to take over. Amen. Amen. That's right. The Holy Spirit came. He said, I'm going, but I'm going to send another one. Amen. And he's going to be a comforter. Yeah. He's going to lead you and guide you in all truth. Amen. See, now when you pray in the spirit, which you're doing more since mm -hmm. Thursday, yeah. and going to do more, you need to be praying in the spirit all the time. All the time. Yeah. Now you ain't got to do, hey, I got a little more shut in the middle of the food line. Amen. <laughs> And that's God tell you to. Because you could be preventing a robbery and saving lives. Amen. See, we don't know the stuff that the devil is lining yeah, up yeah, yeah. in the spirit. Remember, that's why God spoke to Brother Shelf, said, turn the radio off. I don't even know if he listens to the radio in the truck. Turn the radio off and pray in the spirit this the rest of this week. Amen. Something was lined up. Amen. Praise God. And that's why you're sitting here. Because the enemy had a plan. Yeah. And because we don't see it emerge, yes, our yes. mind questions yes. whether it was ever going to happen yes. or not. Yes. See how your mind works? Yes. He's trying to get you to doubt. Yes. Well, if you got healed, why are you still having that pain? Uh -huh. Because I'm still in this shell. But I'm going to keep rebuking you. Yes. And I'm going to keep being healed yes. and delivered. Yes. What he wants you to do is stop speaking the word to yourself and receive, well, I just got to pay. See, this is what doctors do to you. You have to be very, 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 it blessed me um, about, what, two or three months ago, Bishop started having severe pains in his chest. So, of course, we went to the VA. We don't tell the church. That's right. It's the first time you're hearing about it. Amen. Leadership knew. Amen. And they began, we called Mother Ernestine, going to prayer. Amen. And that's it. And we were in the emergency room. I hate the VA, but I'll leave that alone. And um, we were in the emergency room, and they took him on in. And when you say chest pain, thank God, they move. Amen. And I will tell you what I told Sister Willis. If you're having pain, 
in your chest and it's extending down your arm. Your arm is getting numb. Don't just shake it off. Amen. You're under attack. Amen. Amen. Start praying in the spirit. Amen. If you have any aspirin, take four to eight aspirin and get someone to call 911. Amen. Aspirin breaks down the plaque. Any doctor or nurse will tell you. That's why they tell people with heart condition, they tell you to take aspirin. Yes. Yeah. You take an aspirin. Anybody else, doctors told you to take an aspirin? Amen. Uh -huh. See, because, huh? I started taking it myself because you told me. You started on your own through yes. the Holy Spirit, yes. and then the doctor caught up with the Holy Spirit. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a teaching right there. Amen. Right. Because they found that an aspirin breaks down the plaque, the That's thing right. that thickens the blood Amen. and causes the clot that makes you have a heart attack. Right. Amen. 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 But even in a heart attack, God is still in control. Oh, yes. Amen. Yes. You don't go to panic land. Oh yes. my goodness, I'm having a heart. No, no you're just making matters worse. Amen. You just start shouting out on any They say, What's wrong with you? No, no, I'm just praying in the spirit. You, Are you scared? No. Nervous? No. Don't don't confess that stuff out your yeah. mind. Even though your mind yeah. is talking at 50 miles an hour. Amen. You take a needle for diabetes. Amen. See, you have diabetes. No. See, you are a spirit. Amen. A spirit can't take a needle or get diabetes. Yeah. Your shell yeah. has diabetes. Yeah. Not, not your spirit. Not to you that's going to heaven. Is everybody listening to yeah. Your spirit cannot get diabetes. Amen. Your spirit cannot have a heart attack. That's right. Your spirit cannot have a stroke. Is right. anybody listening? Yeah. And we are what? Spirit beings wrapped up in a flesh. Remember, you're triune, three-part mind, spirit, and body. Your body comes under attack because you're made from the dust of the earth. Is anybody listening to me? Yeah. Not just hearing me. Yeah. The doctor says I have diabetes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Not I say. That's right. As you put the needle in, the doctor says my body has diabetes. Yeah. But God says yeah. I am healed. Yeah. I'm delivered. Yeah. And I'm set free. Yeah. People are going to look at you like you're crazy. You got diabetes? No, the doctor said I have diabetes. Uh -huh. God says I'm healed, delivered, right. and set free. Right. Amen. Yeah. Jesus. Amen. You take insulin? Yes. Okay. Then you have diabetes? No. Uh -huh. See, to the world, that's crazy. Right. Thank you, Lord. No, I don't have diabetes. Amen. You take a pill for high blood pressure? Uh -huh. Yes, my doctor says I have high blood pressure. So I'm submitted yeah. to it. Right here. And, and give it to goodwill. Yeah. They don't snatch and fight over yeah. it. Some of the stuff you treasure, your little knickknacks and things. We have a bunch of them from when we go places and different points. I have a whole basket full of dried roses from the roses that God, that God has blessed Bishop to give me. And I just say to petals, you know where they're going. Where they're going. The trash can. Don't say, why this old woman say all these? Notice I said old woman. Mm -hmm. Why does she have all these dead flowers in this bag? Throw that stuff in the trash. Amen. That's a nice basket, though. You want the basket? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I'm just being honest with you. That's it. Yeah. That, this nasty old flesh is mine. Gonna stay right here. Amen. But the Bible says Amen. to be absent from the body yes. is to be in the presence of God. Amen. The real you gonna be shook. They ain't even found you dead yet. <laughs> but you already been before God and already yeah. been God. Yeah. Right. 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 Just like right. that. Uh -huh. Your spirit man can't get sick. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're safe. 
You're born again. Yeah. Understand that you're a new creature. A new creature. Yes. Yeah. You are not, your spirit man is not susceptible to sin. Amen. Yeah. Unless you agree with sin, to yeah. do sin. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. A couple more scriptures and I'm finished. Some people looking at their watch. Jesus. Jesus. That's right. Yeah. Go to Mark 3.25. And then we go on, Samantha, to Exodus 14, 14. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the word, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You there? Amen. When you're there, as you find it, start saying amen. amen. So, is that going to be a no? You with them. Amen? amen. Let's read out loud. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Read it again. If the house be divided against itself, then the house cannot stand. You are the housing place of Jesus Christ. Amen. And the Holy Spirit, if you have asked him to come in. That's right. When you obey the, the dictates of a fleshly, carnal mind, you've now divided your own house. Amen. When you obey the dictates of a natural, flesh ruled mind, mm -hmm. you have divided your own house, mm -hmm. and you cannot stay. Amen. And that's why you see saints falling. Amen. Amen. Falling in secret, they think, but not in secret before God. No, no, Amen. Nothing. Amen. That's right. If a house be divided, mm -hmm. you cannot stand. A wavering person cannot receive anything from God. Amen. Amen. One minute you save, live and save, and the next minute you make excuses to live on hope. Uh -huh. That's the word. A house divided, even with young people. You say you say, then why are you not obeying the word of God? Amen. What what is it we've created in the earth now that is okay because of I'm gonna sit down on that. Uh -huh. Why? Because they're young, they don't have to obey the word? Mm. Mm -hmm. Send them off the Lord. That's it. The devil, the devil is using you yeah. to set your own child up for failure. Yeah. 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 Because you are not commanding and demanding that they fully obey God. Yeah. 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 So now you got a physical divided house because you live in holy. Uh -huh. Well, they young, but they got to do it. Uh -huh. See, parenting is hard work. Yes. 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 And all of us that have grown children, if we could go back, we would not have one. Amen. Amen. Including me. Amen. It is hard work. Amen. It is draining and it never ends. Yes. Your husband can lead, the dog can lead, them children sooner or later gonna call. Amen. Ma. That's it. Dang. Yes. Do you think you could? Uh -huh. You'll never get rid of them, children. Amen. 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 The economy being what they are, they're coming back wrong. 30 and 40 years old. Yes, going right. Oh, yeah. Oh. Amen. That's right. Yes, Lord. You'll never get rid of them. What you going to say? They ain't got no place to live. Come on. Give my, I, I give you my man cave. I give you my exercise room. Move your stuff. And I'm going ahead and move on in there. Yeah, yeah woman going to say they can't be. It's the husband going to say they're grown. Yeah. <laughs> There's argument number 355. That's it, Pastor. A house divided, whether it's with the young people in your home. I told Deacon Williams, clean your house. Amen. You can't have people coming in and out of your oh, house, man. Amen. Amen. That are not a God. I'm telling you. Yes. You talking about spirits being just... Yes. Oh, you're God. No. 
You end up being an aggravated, frustrated, you discouraged, and that ain't even your personality. Amen. And you be saying to yourself, what's wrong with me? Uh, what's going on? Thank you. Uh, this ain't like me. Yeah. Uh, why am I feeling? Why am I thinking? Like, you know feelings come from your mind. Amen. Amen. I know Valentine's Day coming up, and, and uh, they want you to think their feelings, I don't know where they come from. I guess they're just in your body somewhere. And watch that spirit. Well, I didn't get nothing. Who the heck? Come on. Amen. You know, Cupid was a demonic god set up by Nimrod. Yeah. Don't be putting up no little tiny angels with little tiny wings. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, don't, don't, don't do that mess. You don't get nothing. God love you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. God love you. Spend the Valentine's Day talking yeah. with God. Yeah. Let him put his arms around you. Yeah. You, know, you know, teenagers get flowers delivered to the school for their girlfriends and boyfriends. I'm like, this, this world is so, oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> See, I need to be the principal. Uh, you can take that back. Why, why is somebody, you know, why, is it from their father, from their mother? Where are they getting, getting roses and balloons from? Amen. I love you. You're my sweetheart. Who this? That's my boyfriend. You can put it back on the truck. Uh -huh. See, that would be me. It won't be no roses delivered here Amen. to PBA from no boyfriend. Amen. Or a girlfriend, because women good for that stuff. Men don't even like roses, but Valentine's Day, women going to set them roses. And then they got to act like they like it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Honey. You'd probably rather have two tickets to a basketball game. Hey! <laughs> Remember that. <laughs> hey, bitch. Oh, Chris, you out of my hand. <laughs> Remember that family bottom of fishing rod. He got a fishing rod. Get him a new rod. Get him a new one. Get him a red one. So every time he fish with it, he think about you. Yeah, that's right. Give him one go all the way out there in the middle of that ocean. Cause that man love the fish. Bishop does too. They they itching for spring to come. He got it from you. Yeah, terrible. That ain't nothing. That go fish. Huh? In the cold. In the cold. No. 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 No, but you ain't going. <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> I done lived through football. I'm going to live through basketball and the Miami Heat team right here. The budget. And then it's fishing. This is the only law I get right about here. The only break I get. Your mind will have you against God. Because God, 1 Corinthians 6, 19, and then Exodus 14, then went through. Because your mind hates God. But I love God. You don't love God in your mind. Trust me. Come on, come on. Just think about the things you think about. Amen. Amen. Well, if God is God, why am I going through this? See, that's your mind. Amen. The word will tell you, you fight the devil. Amen. The problem is we don't fight. We submit to the devil. Amen. We submit to the dictates of our mind. Yeah. Instead of when a negative thought comes to our mind, Begin to slap it with the word of God. Yes, yeah. But you don't see how you're going to make it. You ain't got no money. This The word of God says, he shall supply all oh. my... Watch that thought just dry up and die. Come on. But he has tricked us. This should be teaching for months on the words of our mouth to get us ready for this revelation season. Remember God said at the beginning of this year, I'm going to bless you. Yeah. Double for your trouble this year. Yeah. But you got to be ready. Yeah. You can't be no four-month pregnant woman delivering a baby. The baby's going to die. Amen. Wow. You got to be full term. Yeah. 
Oh, y'all didn't catch that. Yeah. Well, no need now that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you. See that? He's where? In you. Which ye have of God, and ye are not your own. Everybody need to write that down and memorize it. The Holy Ghost is inside of you. You don't belong to you. You are not your own. Why? Because Jesus bought you with a price. Amen. That's why we don't get drunk. Amen. That's why we don't smoke reef. Amen. I don't care of every state. Because Bishop God. spoke a word um, Friday night, and it's true. Yeah. Don't think Virginia ain't going there. Yeah. Virginia kind of slow. Yeah. Okay. Want that money. But when they see the middle class, uh -huh. they're already made. The government is taxing every jank that come out of them stores. Uh -huh. You can go get a couple of sticks. Remember the days? I don't know if they still do it, but you used to buy cigarettes by the stick. Mm -hmm. Lucy's. Huh? You used to buy Lucy's. Lucy's, thank you. Yeah. Selfies, Lucy's, what? <laughs> I was in high school then. We was buying Lucy's out the stick. You know, give them the necklace. Give them. You still smoke? No. Okay. She went, no. <laughs> And the government of Colorado, I mean big taxes, and people don't care. Yeah. They like to Christian. That's another demon. <laughs> don't go over there, y'all. If you just gotta have a Krispy Kreme donut, go to the West End. Same store on West Broad Street. Yeah. Exact barely anybody in there. Get your donuts and go home. It's a demonic spirit. People are still, they got police out there now, Bishop told me. Because the line is hung. Because the line is so long on that low thing. For a lousy hot donut. People fighting and arguing on the line about a, oh yeah! Out there half the night. Yeah, it's crazy. But you know what? In their mind, the people that slept out there the first night, yeah. it was 12 yeah. degrees outside. People had their kids out there. Yeah. So you could get a dozen donuts free uh, for a year uh, per yeah. month. Uh -huh. yeah. Do that make sense to no, you? No, no, no. But it said free. Uh -huh. Y'all don't hear me. Yeah. It said free. Uh -huh. And I know some hood rats, I'll be able to sell them. Uh -huh. Come on now. I'm gonna get these Krispy Kremes and if I sell them about a separate, you know, let me see, six dollars for a dozen, I could double my money. Six dollars for a dozen, so six into twelve go two. So the donuts are two dollars a piece. If I sell them for five dollars a piece, see the hood be thinking, y'all. Yes, Dr. Please go to that. Yeah, go, baby. <laughs> I thought he had something to add about the Krispy Kreme donuts. Oh, yeah. 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 We haven't been Huh? We haven't been I don't either. I ain't interested. I ain't going to sit out there half the day for it. Just, you have lost your mind. See, the mind, I'm trying to tell y'all. Yeah. How crazy. Just stand back and look. Yeah. Yeah. Them people, them five people that killed that cop. Yeah. Did they really yeah. think? Yeah. And guess what? Their pictures and some of the video was in their car in his car. Yeah. 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 How do you think you go? Oh Jesus. It's stupid. Yeah. They killed the cop out in uh well, he bought it from Goosen, but he come from Waynesburg. Yeah, from Waynesburg. Yeah. Couldn't find him for a number of days. Five of them. And all of my people but one. Yeah. 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 Amen. See how the mind works. Yeah. Young generation. Gone. Life gone. Life gone. His life gone. His children's daddy gone. The wife don't have a husband no more. And they're going to be in prison the rest of their life. Yeah. 
Stupid. Amen. Just as stupid as standing out there for an hour or two hours and fighting over Christmas for the donut. Because see, Chesterfield thought it's going to lock your butt up. Amen. And I know they out there checking inspection stickers. Ice and flag. You ain't even think about you. Pull over here. Well, I ain't doing nothing, sir. I'm just going to go. No. Pull over here. Exodus 14. Amen. Thank you for Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Are you getting anything? Amen. Yes. Changing how you think? Amen. Wherefore the to be? Stand up to the children of Israel. Now look. <laughs> Moses was at the Red Sea. Okay. Now, we, we see it on the Ten Commandments. I hope everybody's going to go see the movie on February 28th, The Son of God. Ooh. And the Holy Ghost just reminded me of something, so remind me to get back here. God spoke to me this morning and told me to tell you guys, every morning you're to have a new scripture. Amen. 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 Good. That's good. Write it down. Every morning, don't put this off. Start your day with a scripture. Amen. And quote it to yourself all day long. Go to Joshua 1 8 right quick. Cut it. See me after service. Yes, ma'am. Joshua 1 8. That's, and I'm telling you, God just, and he, he just brought it back just as clear. No, 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 baby. That was your next one. We're going in. But Joshua 1 8. I know I threw a monkey wrench in. But you can handle it. You're young. Amen. There you go. Amen. Read. This is the Lord. Ah, uh ah, -uh, read with authority. Amen. Go. This is the Lord. The Lord shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate there day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Remember God said we were going to be prosperous this year? Amen. 14 is double sevens. Amen. Double for our trouble. Amen. Okay? Go back to 8. No, go back. Yeah, Joshua 1 8. It says 1 9. What does it say, Joshua 1 9? 1 when, 8 when that's 1 9. Oh, that's the end of 1A. Go back to the beginning of 1A, baby, when you can. Read. This book of law shall not depart out of thy mouth, for thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou shalt serve to do what Hold it right there. That is written. We supposed to be, I said, hold it. Um, we go back. We're supposed to be meditating on the word all day, all night. Amen. Okay, now we all know God knew we had jobs, we have things we have to do. Amen. But what, I, what God wants you to do is start a new scripture every day. Amen. Okay? He's going to take, you're going to know this is what God wanted me to meditate on. Amen. So all day long, write it. If you have an office or cubicle, put it up there. Put it on your TV in the morning. If you're a home person, put it on the car dash. Put it on the truck dash. Well, Amen. just scribble it down. And then all day long, be drawn to it. Oh, meditate on the word day and night. Oh, thank you, God, for the word. It's going to defeat some things. Amen. But this is what he promises if we do this, go now go to the end of it, baby. Thank you, Samantha? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. It's going. it's going. Okay. When we do that, therein thou shalt make thy way prosperous, yes. and then thou shalt have good success. God reminded me, and I'm, I'm going back to it as of today. He reminded me this morning. When I was young, say, I would write the scriptures like, Sisters and Need is doing right now. I caught her while she's writing. And I go home, and this was from the Holy Ghost, and write them on a piece of paper and tape them up all over my house. Amen. Wherever God, I was led to put them. So I had, I know somebody had walked in my house 
They probably would have thought I was schizophrenic crazy. But I would have them taped on the, on the cabinet right over the sink. And my hand to God, there would be times in my life where I would look up at that, that scripture and it would just minister to me on what I was going through or an answer to what I was dealing with. And I wrote the scripture months ago. But there it was. And I would just look. And you know, you look at it. And, but one day you just look at it and you go, oh, thank you, God. Amen. The scripture, I used to have scriptures on my front door. When I went out my front door and I'm going back to it, I used to have, the, the last one I did was a picture of the armor of God, a soldier. That's OBG. That's OBG we did that. Thank Amen. you. And taped it to the front door, I told y'all, to remind you to put on your helmet of salvation, your breastplate of righteousness. Make sure you got your word, your sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Cover your feet. Don't be going nowhere. You ain't got no business going. Amen. Amen. Somebody just said, I'm in their spirit. I'm going to do to go back to doing that. Who was it? Who was it? Somebody thought it in their spirit. Uh-huh. Why you didn't raise your hand? God just said he's going to bless you for your obedience. Thank you, Lord. Get out of that spirit of fear. So if you want to be prosperous and have good success, you'll be obedient. Amen. You know, and I'm going back to putting them up all over my house. I don't care what people think. I don't have that much company anyway. Because I ain't going to have a whole lot of friends in my house. Very content. My house is my sanctuary. When I go in there, I ain't doing no battling. I do enough battling out here. Amen. I go in the house, I'm going to have some peace, the spirit and natural. All right, go back to Exodus right quick. We're getting ready to close. So that was a sidebar. God told me that this morning. That and taking communion in the morning, which God spoke to our bishop for you to do. How many saints went back to taking communion in the morning? One, two, okay, three, four. No, I already counted. How come y'all not taking communion? I need to get my stuff, and I said I was going to get some more of my money. You could pray over your juice. I could pray over your juice. Why we got to pray over your juice? Amen. Amen. Same God. Amen. Bless your life ain't clean. Amen. I mean, there's a higher level anointing with us, but you don't need that anointing. To pray over your juice and your cracker. Amen. It's some pure grape juice, 100 percent Welch's or something, grape Amen. juice, and some flat crackers. Break a piece of cracker. This is your body, oh Lord. This is your blood. Amen. Go to work. Amen. What's the big deal? See how the devil is doing you? Amen. That was a word from the bishop. What you think you got to be in ministry to take communion? Show that to me in the Bible. Mm. They took communion in their homes. There wasn't no church buildings. Mm. Even in the New Testament. The church was in houses and in graveyards. Catacombs underneath the ground with bodies, dead bodies on both sides. And they praised and shouted and had service. Because they was determined to continue to serve God. Even though the Romans told them, you do it, I'm going to kill you. They beat the apostles down. Why? Because they said, you know what? And it's in the Bible, in the book of Acts. If y'all just shut up and don't say nothing else about Jesus, you can have your services. Mm -hmm. They beat them half to death because they mm -hmm. named the name. They said, just stop naming the name and we'll leave you alone. Mm -hmm. That's why you don't hear too many blood songs no more. You don't hear a whole lot of people talk about Jesus. And when they sing, never would have made it without you. Who's you? Read. The Lord shall fight for you, and he shall hold your peace. Go to the next one, baby. Let's be close. Read. And, and the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore art thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. 
this is what we call them. You guys are doing a whole lot of praying and a whole little bit of action. Amen. Amen. That was part one of that. But part two that God gave me is, why are you crying unto me when you ought to be speaking to them spirits? Amen. Oh God, please deliver my child. No, speak to that demon. Amen. Amen. God told Moses, why are you talking to me? Go out there and speak to the spirit of fear in your people. Amen. Because they were at the Red Sea. And Pharaoh was behind them. Uh -huh. You be at Virginia Beach and then police in, are coming down the sand on your butt. Where are you going? Uh-huh. And Moses began to pray. He lifted up his rod and began to pray. God said, you don't need to pray. You're full of the Spirit. Speak. Speak. Yes. Amen. It's just like when I just asked the question. Speak. Yes. People on this line, open your mouth and start speaking the word. Amen. Open your mouth. Amen. Open your mouth. Amen. That's why some people sit in church and they... Open your mouth Amen. and begin to speak the word. Amen. I'm not telling you not to pray. I'm not telling you not to read your Bible. I'm telling you one of the missing pieces God told me this morning. You're not opening your mouth. Amen. How are we going to pay the light bill? God will supply. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Lord, the doctor said, God, you're a healer. Thank you, Lord. Be any sick among you, call for the elders of the church. And a prayer of faith will say the same to say. When I go to ministry today, I'm going to ask Bishop or Pastor, can I get prayer for my healing? And I'm going to believe I heal no, more, no matter what I feel like. Amen. 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 That's the Amen. word? Yes, it is. Excuse me? Yes, it is. So I'm in the volume of the book. Yes, now, how many people believe God is a liar? How many believe the Bible is a lie? How many believe the Bible is not for the 21st century? Jesus. That's another lie. That was for them people back then. Do you know the Bible is still the number one selling book in the world? Yeah. 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 Remember I taught you the word of God is a human thing. Is it not a human? A breathing thing. A living thing. Thing, what you hold in your hand is alive, but it does not come alive until you speak it. You speak everything else. I don't know who the heck he think he is. I don't know why she talked to me. We speak everything else. Why aren't you speaking the word? He said, "Cry out loudly." Yes. I love you, Lord. The first scripture we read, God will fight for me. Amen. I don't care what the situation is. I'm trying to put Davis about some things, and I said, you know what, God is doing you a favor. Rejoice, brother. And he said, you know what, Pastor? He said, normally I'd be all upset and worried. He said, I was like, oh, well. That's the Spirit of God inside. Working on the outside. If you're still getting panicky and worried and scared because you get a letter or you get a summons or you get a ticket, you know, you're not in the spirit enough. He's in us. Isn't that what we read? He's in there. And when it's necessary, he's like, okay, here I am. I remember, thank you, but days when a cop stopped us, an officer of the law. Bishop was beating to get to church. Jessica feels fine. Not too far from my house, Midlopian. He pulled over, and a Caucasian cop came on. Bishop said, Praise the Lord, how are you? License and registration, please. I'm scrambling to get it. There's some deep stuff in a glove box, like most people. He got out his license. He said, Officer, was I doing something? 
He said, well, you going to church, son? Was I speeding, sir? Were you going to church, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, hold up a minute. Goes back to his car. Comes back. He says, sir, you're going to church. I'm going to give you a warning. Slow down. Have a great day. Amen. Amen. I'm sitting there going. Because he was speeding. And those of you that deal with Chesterfield know. They meant nobody's lie. Thank you, Lord. Why did an officer come up and say, Were you going to church, sir? See, the Spirit of God will fix things for yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. Ezekiel gives his testimony, but David gives his testimony. Both of them would have been locked up for a good long while. Yes. But see, somewhere up there, the angels of the Most High, I think Ezekiel said, God was in the courtroom. Yeah. Yeah. Well, David said, Pastor, they couldn't find the God. And it was two of them. He taught me. He said they always make sure it's two in case one can't make it. He said they couldn't find me to call. I'm in court. I'm a three striker. This is my life. They said, well, where's the cops? We can't find them. What do you mean you can't find them? We can't find them. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you. You can't find belief often? No, sir. You cannot find case this man. Go home. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ezekiel was facing what? 10, 15? Yes, ma'am. They dropped charges. Had the drugs. Had the evidence. And said, so we just going to throw this part out. We're going to throw this out. And we're going to reduce this down. And we'll let you do work release on this little bit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. When you live right, you don't let your mind control you. You let the Spirit, He'll move for you. Yes. He'll make a way in yes, the desert. Yes, He will. He'll give you water yes. where there is no water. Yes. Yes. He'll give you a house you didn't build. Yes. This word says yes. so. Yes. I'll give you houses you didn't build. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. It don't make no sense where we live. Thank you, Lord. And now looking for another house, not because we got to. God said, I want to bless you. Thank you, Lord. I want to bless you. And I told you it's going to have a long driveway. I've already Thank seen you, it in the spirit. Thank you, Lord. It's a straight driveway. I would have kind of liked the curve, but that's why I'll take the straight. Yes. It's got a straight driveway and you can see the house up there. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Remember, the old saints know we told y'all. Thank you, Lord. God told us, get ready to move. Thank and people you, looked at us like we was crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, okay. I'm living in it. Amen. Remember Amen. now, for how long we've been there now? Ten years? Longer than that? Eight years? Thank you, Lord. God will do the same thing for you, people of God. Amen. But you've got to keep your mind under control. Yes. Do not obey the dictates of your mind. Amen. Stand to your feet. Thank you.